Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura. And have you ever wanted your pin cushion just a little bit closer to your hands? Well, I have just the answer for that. Finger pin cushions are a lot of fun to make and a lot of fun to use. And we can wear them on our fingers and we can wear them on our thumbs. If I'm sewing with my right hand, I find the pin cushion on the left is handy. It just makes it handy for us to put our pins and needles right at our hands. And they can be made in different sizes and many different fabrics. And they all start with one square. I'm going to start with a five inch square, one that's a four and a half inch square, and one that's a four inch square. And they're all made the same way. We start with the square. We take the square, fold it in half, so right sides are touching, stitch a little bit on the one end, leave a space, and stitch all the way down. Back stitching at both of these ends. Once the triangle has been stitched, we can turn it right side out. If you'd like, you can trim off those points. We're going close to the stitching line, but not touching the stitching line. And that little trimming is just going to make the points point here and turn your triangle right side out and poke out those corners. And if it's wrinkled, you can press it. I like to start with my press so I don't need to press it now. From here, we need to fill up this little triangle and just use your favorite way of closing off that seam. Once that's closed up, take the two ends along that fold and stitch those together. I like to keep those seams flat together as I'm stitching. The pin cushion is now done and you can always reverse it. You can manipulate it a little bit to make that round shape and it's done. This is the five inch square, the four and a half inch square, the four inch square, and there's a three and a half and a three. The size square we start off with and how much batting we put in it will determine the ring size. You could always just stitch it a little bit tighter in the bottom. And when they're all done, we can always decorate them so they're more like fancy rings. The five inch one fits on two fingers, but the three and a half inch fits me just perfect. They're fun little projects to make. They can be made very big, they can be made very small, or they can be made just right. It's all up to you. I hope you enjoy today's fun little project and thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back and let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.